thank you very much. And my talk will be kind of my mathematical birthday present to Professor Koshevara. <laughs> You'll see that actually several ideas which you introduced uh, on various subjects will appear in quite surprising way. Ah, so I will speak about uh, uh, quantum difference equations. So the basic algebra is the following. Fix a complex number and let's say q is 0 and 1. So fix it and denote by algebra aq will be free algebra generated by two symbols, invertible symbols x hat and y hat. Modulo the relations y hat x hat is equal to q x hat y hat. Yeah, so as a vector space, as a vector space, it can be written as uh, uh, Laurent polynomials. So consider Laurent polynomials, let's say, in y first, or maybe in x first, and then in y second. You can uh, put uh, uh, canonical in this form. Mm. Yeah, so I will first, uh, uh, and then one can go maybe to high dimension, one can speak about aq to power n uh, for uh, large n. Uh, so for such algebra, like for differential operators, one can speak about holonomic modules. Maybe we can say in general what is holonomic module. M aq to power n module is called holonomic. If there exists a filtration, and from zero and one and so on, so that it's compatible with natural filtration on algebra, and x and x inverse, y inverse of degree one, uh, compatible with natural filtrations, with filtration on algebra, and such that dimension of m, m n is capital O of n to power n. Oh, model is finitely generated, yeah. Yeah, it's automatic, yeah. Uh, okay. And I is there an inequality, or that there it can be that if the dimension is non-zero, that the dimension for a non-zero module, the dimension is at least some? Yeah. No, I just I think it's a good definition. So, in infiltration, both x and x inverse have degree one. Yeah. Yeah. Degree of x, x plus minus. I, y plus minus i in degree is 1. Ah. Okay, now I will f first describe your uh, uh, case of n equal to 1. And I'll do it in parallel with, uh, uh, with differential equations. So we have q difference equations. Get this algebra of q, a q. Minus one. Okay, plus minus one. And uh, in usual differential equations, you do something like this you do polynomial differential operations in one variable. Uh, and also, this notion of filtration, and one can have a similar definition of holonomic module. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you study differential equations, first you study its uh, kind of a formal puncture disk. So it means that you replace your ring by this guy. Uh, and automatically, holonomic modules after reduction to the things are uh, finite dimensional spaces uh, over Laurent series uh, endowed with the uh, action differenti differentiation, with the connection. No torsion, yeah, because it's it's, it's a field, yeah, plus connection. And here uh, one can also do kind of formal quantum puncture disk. One consider C uh, of x, and then take 
and have the similar ring here. And modules again will be finite dimensional over uh, Laurent polynomials, and it will be uh, and the action of uh, y uh, hat means that instead of connection, you get uh, isomorphism of uh, bundle and uh, pullback of the bundle where psi it's x it's dilation. Yeah, so it's a completely similar story. And among holonomic modules of functional disk, you get a very special case. It's called regular holonomic. And the definition of regular holonomic uh, for usual equation means that uh, there exists a uh, E0 in E, which is 0 is free C of x module. Uh, and such that E is equal to E0 uh, uh, obtained by localization. And invariant under operation x over dx. Uh, because, in fact, here one can write the same ring in this way. E0 is invariant. E0 is invariant under x dx. Um, Sorry? E0 is free, finitely generated. Uh, free, yeah, but it's fi finitely generated. Yeah, I think it's uh, automatically free. Yeah. It's called lattice, yeah. Yeah, so one can repeat the situation here. Uh, kind of, uh, you get a 0 in, in, in E, which will be C of X hat modules, and invariant under Y hat. Yeah, so it will be notion of. Um, a regular singularity, uh, and uh, first we want to classify regular uh, modules, and the regular modules in the usual uh, um, situation are, are the following. It's, you know, what kind of all reducible uh, 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 all irreducible in decomposable, sorry, in decomposable modules are, uh, correspond to Jordan blocks, mm, where lambda <coughs> uh, belongs to C modulo Z. So it, it belongs to those quotients, uh, 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 quotient set. Uh, in, in one can say that one can see the coherent shifts with zero dimensional support on, C, on the kind of bad quotient stack. You divide a fine line by z. Oh, so it's, it's kind of purely algebraic description. Mm. Uh, and here's the story. It's similar in the composable models uh, correspond to coherent shifts. Or, or no, just all uh, irregular models are the same as uh, z, um, coherent shifts with zero dimensional support on c star divided by q to power z. Mm, but essentially, it's the same reason. Yeah, you have, uh, for example, basic model when you write equations, something like y uh, hat of psi is equal to lambda psi, uh, uh, some kind of z psi. You write this equation where z belongs to c star. Uh, but this, uh, 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 but when I uh, replace psi by x, x to power n psi, you add, uh, you multiply z to some integer power of q. And this thing's, uh, now it's kind of transcendental map. This thing is isomorphic to elliptic curve. So we change algebraic structure. And also we can, can make transcendental map. Uh, it's isomorphic to C star. Uh, C mod z is isomorphic to C star by exponential map. Okay. That's all very simple. Uh, now, uh, yeah, there is also level to retain decomposition for uh, uh, <coughs> d modules of a formal punctured disk. Mm. 
Then of course, let me make the modules of this formal puncture disks. This is a billion category. It's an infinite direct sum over blocks, a kind of, uh, uh, and each block is equivalent to this coherent shifts with zero dimension support on C mod Z. Uh, and blocks are labeled by some set which is uncountable set. Uh, uh, and the set uh, correspond to kind of irregular uh, types or ex ex um, um, expressions like this. You can see the set of all possible um, uh, formal Puzo polynomials, some more. Uh, C, C, K, Z to power K, N. <coughs> so consider a set of finite sums, uh, such that for certain, maybe M, maybe put, such that great common divisors of uh, K such that C, K is non zero is equal to one. Uh, uh, just a second. What do I mean? Uh, you cannot k and, and m is equal to one. You cannot have. Uh, you cannot divide by a common factor, and you mod out by uh, cyclic group action. C k goes to exponent two pi i k over m C k. You can see the cyclic uh, model by free group action, so different branches of the same functions. And uh, if you have such expression, you imagine this kind of we put x actually here. This one written. You consider all possible branches. You get uh, 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 this d module. Uh, a typical example of the module in a block. And here's the same story. Finite amplification. You get, sir? Ah, it, it tensor, uh, then it can tensor it by, by, by uh, a, a, a kind of regular singularity in, in, in M's root. And here's a si very similar theorem in. Uh, uh, X. Sorry? X is 1 over M. Yeah, uh, x over uh, one over m. Yes, you're right. Yeah, x over m. Yeah, then it'll be right, and then you can multiply by regular model in x over y and get this category. And here's the same the similar story. Uh, it was disc described uh, discovered by several people. Uh, by I think by Bronowski and Ginsburg, but not only. Then consider uh, holonomic u difference modules over c. No, put x hat. It's again will be sum of blocks. Each block is the same uh, coherent shifts with zero dimension on, on my elliptic curve. OC star on UZ. But uh, label set is countable and in fact it's just rational numbers. Uh, uh, yeah, what is geometric meaning of this? Uh, yeah, so you have see some kind of big difference. Here it's countable sets, here you get continuous parameters. Uh, uh, what is the origin of this uh, of these two sets? In fact, it has a very clean geometric meaning. Again, I can uh, do the following. In uh, uh, differential... But in before when you did this thing, you had... You know, when you went your first thing, you ended up with coherent sheaves. You know, just one of them. There were no blocks. How come? It, it no, no. It's regular. Regular singularity. It's, it corresponds to zero. Oh, zero so regular. It's one special uh, block. It's one special block, kind of the most basic block. Now, uh, what is the origin of these two sets labeling these uh, blocks? The origin is actually uh, the following one. In, in for the differential equation, one can see the spectrum of, let's say, C of x multiplied by projective line, it's called, called, called lambda, like this. Mm. 
Now, so you get a kind of product of very short interval and uh, will be x coordinate and lambda will be here, to, here, here to lambda is equal to infinity, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, we consider product, uh, we consider this formal scheme and consider Poisson bracket uh, dx. Oh, oh, I consider maybe two form dx d over x times d lambda. And this form uh, has uh, d lambda, oh, sorry, d, what do I mean? dx over x times d lambda, yeah. Yeah, uh, just a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, this form has poles of order 1 and 2. At lambda equal to infinity has pole of, of order 1. And now what you start to do, you start to make some blow-ups. at various point and uh, sometimes you see divisors when the pole then the form has pole of order one uh, and uh, uh, it turns out that these divisors which you see in all this uh, thing are exactly corresponding to all possible blocks roughly uh, roughly speaking if you have this uh, piezo uh, series you can see the graph of differential you get certain curve which maybe goes to intersection point and you make many many blow ups and eventually you end to ha have divisor of all for the one. But how do you get something uncountable? Yeah. This way? Sir? How do you get something uh, Because when you make a blow ups you can blow up and maybe in, you make some trees, you blow up in some uh, real, real uh, some uh, points inside, not, not ah, yeah. And here uh, what we do, we consider uh, spec of it, uh, uh, kind of again spec of C, of I put X hat and maybe I put also times p1 is coordinate y, say, or maybe don't put hat, and consider form which is dx over x, which dy over y. And this my form will have, uh, mm. so I get two very short uh, uh, um, devices of poles when y equal to zero infinity and x close to zero, and everywhere I have pole of order one. But now, if I make a blow up, also exactly at the section point, again, get a pole for the one, I make a blow up iteratively, you know what I get? Exactly all rational numbers corresponding to, uh, uh, this explains the difference between situations. So I get countable set because uh, only countably many such divisors. Okay, so that's uh, essentially all formal story. You see this uh, big analogy. Uh, uh, kind of one can try to, to describe in some more invariant way uh, what is this direct sum of copies of blocks and in fact is direct sum of all rational numbers you consider the following thing you consider uh, mm, let's see something like semi-stable bundles on EQ with slope A over, uh, A over B. Slope is uh, rank over degree, maybe up to same. Yeah, this category are all as, uh, equivalent to category by Fourier Mukai transform of sh shifts with uh, zero dimensional support you know, by TS theorem. Or, and this is kind of more invariant way to see it. Okay. Yeah. Now uh, the next step, we should go to Stokes phenomena. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, so we get six over formal power series. Now what we, we do the same things over convergent series. So it works also when Q is uh, not a rule of unity, it should be algebraic. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, the same story works over any field of uh, characteristic zero and Q is not a root of unity. Uh, but, but you don't uh, use elliptic curve as a language, yeah, because there's no elliptic curve. 
And what would you write that slope A over B equal... Uh, 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 slope, uh, a, uh, so slope, it's rank over degree, maybe I should put slope uh -huh. here. here. Oh. Is there anything in the right column that is similar to E to the power of Poisson polynomial? Sorry? Is there anything in the right column that is similar to E to the power of Poisson polynomial? Yeah, no, the claims is rational numbers are analogs of e to the power of Poisson polynomial. It's some kind of object corresponding to this exponent of Poisson polynomial. There's no, There's no exponential, yeah, okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, if, if you consider over uh, another field, uh, germs of meromorphic functions. Then there is this kind of deline margrange theory of Stokes filtrations. I will not go to it. Yeah, so it's a um, deep result, which also Masaki reproved with Pierre Chaperin in a different way, in a sense. Uh, but uh, what what goes on here? If you can, see one can ask the same question in Q difference equation case. So consider x hat, x hat inverse. And you consider modules over this uh, uh, this ring. Uh, then uh, there was a very nice result by a recent result by. Boy, Ramis and Zhang. Which can be formulated as the following. This uh, holonomic demodules over this thing is equivalent to the following it's a billion category, and what is a billion category? It's a vector bundles on elliptic curve and out with anti harden or simple filtration. Uh, what does it mean anti hardener simple filtration? And first, I should explain what is hardener simple filtration. It's in general, if you consider bundles on a curve, <coughs> then for bundles, one can uh, define the notion of a slope uh, for non zero bundle, and the bundles, uh, and then this notion of semi stable bundles, and there is canonical filtration so that, so that the slope uh, goes uh, or increases, increases, say. And associated gradient will be semi stable uh, uh, bundles. But now we endowed a bundle with a filtration labeled again by rational numbers, but such that uh, this associated gradient are semi stable, but uh, the filtration, it's, uh, the order is opposite. Yeah, so this thing is not unique. But it turns out that this guy is again a billion category, and uh, this corresponds to uh, 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 this module so of an analytic puncture disk. Uh, uh, what, is, what is the idea? It's again kind of very similar to delinear Margrange filtration. Delinear Margrange filtration, if you have differential equation, then you study asymptotics of solutions along various rays and you get filtration by order of growth and it satisfies some properties. And here, what is going on? You have differential uh, kind of difference equation on punctured disk. So it means that you have your meromorphic bundle, uh, you have some maybe vector space at each point, with x, and then you identify this vector space at point of qx, q square x, and so on. You can, um, and then approach zero. Then if you have a vector in, in mm. uh, this bundle, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, suppose we write some equation, something like c of qx is equal to x to power lambda psi of x. You write some equation, maybe emit hat. You write this equation, the lambda is an integer number or rational number. 
then what you see that if you approach many, many times, you get the following. You get qn x to power lambda times qn minus 1x to power lambda times x to power lambda c of x. And you get, get, get something like q to power n square over 2 times lambda um, times capital O of n c of x. So you see that uh, if you uh, tr uh, tr transfer to zero, you can have different growth uh, labeled by rational numbers. You get to filter. Uh, so for, uh, it means that you get certain filtration. Uh, before uh, you're doing filtration, you first you can make a, a vector bundle on the curve because it's an equivariant vector bundle. You go to the quotient, you grew holomorphic bundle on the curve. And then for each point of this elliptic curve, you consider fil uh, filtration by Growth, it turns out to be holomorphic filtration associated grade will be semi-stable semi and it will be one-to-one -one correspondence by this uh, non-trivial result. And the factor to the formal thing is just associated graded with vector. Yes, the factor of formal is associated grade. Yeah, so it's all completely parallel to, uh, to the usual uh, story. And finally, uh, the, there's some kind of little formulation uh, how to go to global result. It's like in Dilly Margaret's theory, if you know. Uh, things locally, you just add local system and complement you. Uh, uh, there is some uh, following theorem, which is essentially a corollary of Soloy-Remis uh, junk result, which is the following. It's th that holonomic AQ modules is canonically equal to the following category. You consider Objects, I uh, say what are objects in morphism are obvious. I consider coherent shifts on elliptic curve with two anti hadronic infiltration. Now, so coherent shifts are uh, it's a little bit more than vector bounds, we get torsion shifts. Mm, uh, what is the geometry of all the story? Uh, if you if you have uh, um, these things, uh, if you don't do this, consider uh, this essential completion neighborhood of zero, uh, you will have mm, again vector bundle on elliptic or coherent shifts on elliptic curve. Or if you mod out, uh, ignore torsion. Supp suppose my bundles uh, equations without torsion, and then you can approach zero and infinity. Uh, you can consider positive and negative orbit, and both gives uh, filtrations. They do not talk to each other, and uh, this is essentially uh, um, two anti filtration. Phenomenon that zero and stock phenomenon that it's infinity, yeah. There's no, nothing else, yeah. And this is a little bit of torsion because uh, my module will be not really free as a uh, module of a Laurent polynomial in X. It will be, uh, yeah. And altogether, one can say that, and consider like P1 cross P1. Uh, with this form dx over x dy over y, which has first order pole at four corners, and um, these terms of filtration will correspond to all possible devices on the blow up. So the filtration is on the bundle obtained by modding out by the torsion. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's a bit no, it's a bit delicate story how we get coherent shifts and uh, and uh, into filtration, but. Uh, yeah, if, if my equation was a bundle over Cx of x minus 1, then it should get bundle with two filtration. And there's some little story with torsion which I don't want to develop. So it's not obvious that torsion in x corresponds to torsion in the elliptic curve, right? Yes, yeah, 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 something like this, yeah. Mm. <coughs> so we get this uh, small story. Uh, now, oh, how to uh, um, understand this two anti hard on filtration? This is a kind of very general remark. Suppose we have a C as a triangulated category and we have a bridging stability condition on it. So Bridging stability condition. Bridging stability condition means uh, the following: you get a map from uh, k zero of category to 
C, which is essentially R plus I R, which is essentially oriented plane, not as a uh, complex numbers. It's additive map. And we have class of semi-stable object with some extra axiomatics, which, for example, one of a way to say what is it, you say that you have a, a bounded T structure. And if you can see the heart of this T structure, uh, and apply Z and remove zero object, you, uh, you, you land to uh, mm, some set of complex numbers, uh, which is imaginary part is positive, or Z is negative real number. Yeah. And then uh, you d can define the slope as argument of the things, and you want to ask that every object has uh, filtration by semi-stable one with kind of canonical slopes. Now, so that's, that's a notion. If, if you have a category filtration, then you can associate canonical Artinian abelian category. Uh, namely, consisting of object in the heart of the structure plus two anti hardron of similar filtrations. Object in heart plus two anti H infiltrations. Mm. And uh, uh, when you consider associated gradient versus hard infiltration, you get some semi stable object and apply central charge, you get some numbers. And uh, what you get, you get a bunch of vectors, some bunch of vectors in the upper half plane. And some bunch of vectors in the low half plane. Uh, to one filtration, another filtration. Artinian, you mean object are of finite length? Over object are of finite length, yeah. Uh, yeah. In particular, if, if I apply this, uh, this construction to the coherent shift analytic curve, we get this uh, category which we obtain in this way. Uh, there is something nice about this category, uh, namely the following. On the set of stability structures, uh, there's action of a universal cover of P J plus two R or, or J plus two R. Uh, universal cover J uh, matrices is positive determinant. Is it kind of essentially rotate uh, your um, central charge and you redefine heart of destruction in appropriate way? And this action. Uh, identifies uh, corresponding abelian categories. Mm. Uh, how to see it, why, why it's identified corresponding abelian categories? If you fix uh, some number of uh, rays, uh, you get maybe n plus and n minus will be number of rays going up and down. Uh, uh, you can see it as a representation of functor from the quiver to your triangulated category. Um, uh, you can see the quiver, uh, A and quiver, where n is uh, total number of things minus 1. And on this quiver, up to shifts, you get uh, n plus, n plus, and minus specific objects. And you want this object to go to semi-stable objects, uh, some condition of on a functor from the quiver to, to your category. And then it's things invariant under rotation group. And the corollary of this thing is the following one. Uh, on this algebra, on AQ, X, SL to Z, maybe semi steric product with C star squared, just by monomial transformation. You replace x hat by y hat by uh, monomials multiplied by powers, so, it's, so it gets action of some group. The question, why this group acts on this abelian category? Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, mm, not clear at all, but when you have elliptic curve, then the space of stability structures, uh, it's essentially one orbit of JL2R. Uh, that is well known. 
And hence, uh, you get essentially canonical abelian category associated to, elliptic, to derived category of elliptic curve. And that's uh, the color of, of this picture. Now, so it just explains this uh, symmetry in a nice way. Uh, which symmetry answer is? SL2Z acting by automorphism of uh, the algebra it goes from one holonomic model to another. And uh, I want to, in this description to see. Maybe yeah, basic x and y binomial. Yeah, you get Fourier transform. X goes to y, y goes to x inverse, something like this. Yeah. And so when you consider those things with two anti-hundred and same concentrations, is it always true that it's an abelian category? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's an abelian category, yeah. Which is not, it's not obvious, right? Not, yeah, it's, but it's not difficult, yeah. Yeah. OK, yeah, so that's uh, a nice story. and. Uh, Essentially, no conjectures here. Now I want to go to high dimensions. What's surprising is that in the metaplectic version, you have the double cover of this. Yeah, no, no, here it's universal cover because it will be give a shift functor. It's not, yeah, not too periodic. So now my goal will be to formulate formulate Riemann Hilbert correspondence for a Q tensor power n for any n. Uh, yeah, I, I will not prove it. Yeah, but uh, but uh, and I don't know how to prove it. I have to say, but uh, the, the formulation is already to get exact formulation. What is the right hand side? It's um, it's already non-trivial task, and um, uh, and you'll see it's, it's something much much simpler than uh, uh, usual differential equation. You get various mm, this again Stokes phenomena in high dimensions and. Here the story is the following. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, when consider holonomic AQ to N modules, it is inductive limit uh, when you get uh, of certain subcategory and get full, full, uh, fully faithful embeddings of kind of smaller categories, and index indexing set will be something which you can can be called analog of singular support. You consider uh, uh, bound support by some larger, larger set in certain sense. What is support in this case? Uh, so. Uh, uh, definition support will be uh, closed Lagrangian polyhedral subset, rational polyhedral subset, uh, polyhedral cone, even I'm called L in R to N, which contains rational lattice, Q to N, with standard symplectic form. Uh, what means it's just closed subset, which is finite union of uh, simplicial uh, Lagrangian polyhedral cones. So you have maybe N vectors in Q to N. So it's a linear independent. And uh, uh, symplectic pairing is zero. You can see the sum of 
it will be uh, vertices uh, of rational code. With rational, yeah, it will be non-zero vectors which are linear independent and you know, generate by C. You take all possible this subsets. In case of n equal one, what you will do? Just in case of n equal one, you get the same picture which you have before. We get just finite collection of rational rays. Race n equal to one. So, in mean, what sense is it similar to singular support? Yeah, I will explain. Yeah, mm, it's uh, some better notion of singular support. In sense, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 why, if you have a model, why you get such a gadget? Um, it's essentially follow various filtrations. Uh, maybe I'll take the following analogy. Suppose we have a Lagra algebraic Lagrangian uh, algebraic Lagrangian subvariety L. C you can see star to power to n. Instead of holonomic demodule, I take Lagrangian variety. Then uh, 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 this C star to power n is log Calabi Yau. Oh, and in fact, it's log symplectic. This is a decursion from dx, dx, dy, dy over dx over x. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a standard form. Yeah. You have this form. Mm. It's a log symplectic manifold, in, uh, in particular, it's log Calabio, it has volume element, and then uh, one can consider various toric um, um, uh, uh, compactifications of this guy. And then, if you have toric compactification, you see how, what intersection of devices at infinity intersect, and you get mm. um, a subset, co a conical. Subset uh, just for any algebraic variety and for Lagrangian, you get Lagr conical Lagrangian variety. I think it's maybe called Tevelev uh, construction or something like this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's similar to a uh, projection of Berkovich spectrum, which yesterday we heard from uh, Tony. You talk, yeah. yeah so you, you go to kind of, you consider maybe curves going to infinity, consider uh, log logarithm norms and get, get various things. Yeah, and the same story works for holonomic demodules. One can uh, work with appropriate filtration. Holonomic demodules say that it's supported at infinity in a sense on this union of Lagrange and Kohn. Mm. Yeah, by the way, the story, uh, I have a suggestion what to do for usual differential equations. What will be the analog of si better singular support? Yeah, kind of. In general, if m omega is algebraic symplectic variety, uh, you can call uh, uh, analog of this possible supports the following sets. First, you can consider some huge set uh, divisorial valuations. on uh, field of rational functions on M. Uh, puts complex numbers, but it's kind of irrelevant. Is that differential equation or difference equation? No, in, no, in general, I want to say something which works both for differential and difference equations and uh, even more. Mm. Mm. You, you consider divisorial relations, so it means that you kind of glue div divide at infinity to M, uh, such that near, near generic point, uh, my form is Look like this. It has it's a logarithmic form and has first, first the, the pole. Yeah, so the, you get this uh, set of divisorial uh, relations. It's, it's an, um, in a, a kind of trigonometric case, it will be rational rays, rational rays, and in, in, in for the case of cotangent bundle, uh, if uh, yeah, so it's if, if m is star to power ten, d is will be a, a rational rays in q to n and if m is cotangent bundle it's uncountable says continuous parameters it's it, it exactly correspond to this irregular terms uh, for uh, singular uh, um, it's singular points uh, in, in the case of dimension one 
And then one considers the following uh, uh, analog of polyhedral cone will be uh, the following uh, object. Suppose you get some compactification where, where your two form has the following uh, shape. You get intersection of n divisors and form uh, has lo lo local coordinates looks like this. So you get n divisors, normally crossing divisors. And then you can start to all make, uh, you get n uh, various uh, n uh, points in these things, but also you can make st start make blow-ups and you feel rational points in the simplex. Get rational, uh, so you get n log of this n-dimensional simplices and you consider um, maybe n minus one dimensional simplices simplices, uh, uh, it will be improductivization of the story. And then we can see the finite unions of such subsets will be analog of support. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but so it's that is kind of support in both cases, difference and difference. Yeah, but for differential question, it's kind of support, it's in more delicate ways. So you treat all irregular parts and, uh, uh, and it's kind of, yeah, so not, not Stokes phenomenon, formal, uh, formal classification, yeah. Is it related to the support of the associated gradient of a good filtration? Uh, no, usual uh, usual conical support obtained by some uh, it's, it's uh, you remove a lot of information from this. I think it's it's, it's kind of I think better notion. Yeah, but uh, I have to. But for this Sorry. Sorry. If you want to, you say it applies to the. AQ tensor n. Yeah. What's the symplectic number? C star to power to n, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but now uh, one can do the following. If you have this L, which is kind of polyhedral, whatever, whatever stuff in polyhedral Lagrangian cone. Uh, it's a singular Lagrangian variety, uh, kind of singular Lagrangian variety. It's not smooth. It's kind of maybe uh, here's precise linear. And there was a general idea that if you have such variety, you get canonical kind of combinatorial type of categories of uh, Foucault type category associated to L. Mm. In fact, it L will be automatically L will be automatically exact Lagrangian cone because it's it's conical. Uh, if, you, if you have formed kind of PDQ, you can integrate a long race. Yes, yeah, so it's even better than just Lagrangian variety. But anyhow, we have canonical Foucault type category, uh, which is described. You take some tubular neighborhood, make some flaws, but thanks to uh, kind of pro progress with uh, um, Girmo, uh, uh, Shapira, and Keshevara, you know that it can be described as category of constructible shifts, or maybe on some domain on a C infinity manifold, uh, such as singular support uh, in uh, micro local uh, kind of micro local support, is uh, belongs to some conical. Uh, Legendrian subset. Uh, so there's really no no good way to go from this conical in symplectic case to conical in uh, cotangent space I case. Uh, mm, one can, for example, add one variable because Lagrange manifold is exact. One add one variable and then go uh, produce eventually something in n plus one dimension, certain uh, conical in cotangent direction. Direction subspace, and then you get something very, very concrete. And in the case of this collection of rays, you get a n categories, a n uh, number of spikes uh, minus one. And 
the description will be the following. The conjecture is uh, the following. This category of holonomic modules, holonomic <coughs> AQ to power N modules, and support is contained in, in given L. Uh, so it will be a category which is much uh, like we uh, specify irregular singularity it should be equivalent to the following things. You can see it will be full subcategory in dB of nth power of elliptic curve multiplied, it make tensor product, it makes sense for uh, this, uh, uh, this category of uh, uh, um, this constructible shifts associated to L. So it is find some property, and the property will be completely analogous to what I said that for each ray I, I have a semi-stable object of the certain slope. And the property is the following. Uh, uh, when you consider uh, objects on this guy, you get, uh, just forgetting about db of elliptic curve, uh, of, uh, of abelian variety, uh, you get a, a, a smooth locus of this uh, singular Lagrange set will be just union of some uh, cones. And, and then on each um, interior of this, in each simplicial cone, you will have a complex. And then there will be some related, uh, in some uh, one way to uh, some very in intersection points. In particular, mm. you get a functor from this category to dB of vector space uh, for each smooth point. Strictly speaking, you also it's functor defined up to shift. You should choose an uh, argument of uh, restriction of volume element. And also, if you have a, like, a rational Lagrangian variety, a rational Lagrangian subspace, <coughs> it's kind of Lagrangian subspace in Q to N, uh, you have a canonical subcategory in DB of, uh, 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 of abelian variety. Uh, it's defined the following way. On, on this gadget, the section of some, again, universal, uh, some central extension of C CP to NZ by Fourier Mackay transform. Cartesian product yeah, yeah, so Cartesian product, yeah. You can see the n-dimensional abelian variety, and then Fourier Mackay transform gives the action of symplectic group on, uh, uh, of extension of central extension of symplectic group here. And, um, the same group acts on the space of Lagrangian subspaces. It's extransitively, for example, you have kind of horizontal subspace. And for horizontal subspace, uh, QN, we are sourced to category DB, uh, uh, consider a category of coherent shifts with zero dimensional support on E to power N. And then, uh, uh, then, then I put uh, the constraint that uh, if you apply each functor lent to the corresponding category, it's ev everything is well defined. It's complete limitation of the story which I explained for n equal one, and the conjecture that it's a right hand side answer for the Dili uh, Riemann Hilbert correspondence. Mm. Yeah, so there are m many reasons to believe in it. Uh, I, I don't have a proof, but uh, I think it should be really easy. And mm. Mm. what sense is analogous to what you said for n equal to one? Because there had some for n equal one, sorry. Yeah, you have coherent sheaves on elliptic curve in here. Yes, yes. No, I, 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 I said that uh, this thing I put on each ray, which is a, it's a copy of coherent sheaves, but I apply some element of SL to Z. Yeah. And what that is support is contained in L. Support contained of of uh, d modules contained in L. It means that if you it's, it has certain, I should put maybe certain filtration, uh, new filtration as on algebra and uh, it, it kind of imitate notion if you have coherent uh, shift on a Lagrange variety and Lagrange variety goes in a certain direction, you imitate the definition do something with quantum algebra. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the conjecture it's it's all works if you replace C by Non Archimedean field, and Q is still between less than one. And just you can do the same story, but for non Archimedean field, with any characteristic, 
uh, yeah, it will be the again this uh, kind of Riemann-Hilbert correspondence, and it's actually a very nice example because, uh, like in usual Riemann-Hilbert correspondence, we get kind of two algebraic vari uh, two complex varieties with same algebraic structures. Uh, but it doesn't work in, in, in for Q difference equation, uh, uh, no, for differential equation for non Archimedean field because you don't have monodromy. But here for Q difference, I think there's really analytic problems are uh, kind of the same, both in complex numbers and non Archimedean uh, field. And maybe the last uh, very small remark it's about another SL2Z, which uh, goes here. When you write q x equal to exponent 2 pi i tau, and you take maybe tau prime is equal to maybe 1 over tau, get q prime, you get the same category. How it acts on, uh, uh, let's say, like second variable, how it acts from one equation to another. And here I get the following suggestion. It's similar to the following story. Uh, like for differential equations, Uh, one can consider space of Schwarz functions, dual space to Schwarz functions of C. C. It's a module over Cx over dx, but also it's module over complex conjugate. It's bimodule. And it was Kashivara conjecture proven by Michizuki that if you have holonomic module, consider Holmes to this guy, you get holonomic module over dual guy and it's anti-equivalence uh, uh, of categories. And here it seems to be the, the same story but without holomorphic complex conjugation goes on. How go from tau to 1 over tau? Namely, you consider the following thing. You consider mm. uh, 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 Schwarz space is dual to uh, uh, distributions are dual to Schwarz space. And uh, analog of Schwarz space will be the following. It will be a uh, holomorphic function on C, some coordinate Z, with the following property. You get one tau and consider basic trees. Yeah, so now a tau will be not a negative real number. It actually works even. Uh, for real numbers, and you can see the functions said that along this direction have exponential decay. Uh, yeah, so I get this uh, sp uh, set of s uh, vector space of functions, and there is a kind of natural, uh, at least some class of dual uh, expressions, namely uh, dual space will have functions which has poles in, in the neighborhood of two sectors, and you integrate over this uh, over the path, and now you have exponential growth along along these lines. So yeah, so it's uh, some kind of mm. hyperfunction story, and yeah, so you get analog of S prime, and there are two commuting uh, al algebras by shift z goes to z plus one. <coughs> And function multiplied by exponent of 2 pi i uh, tau z, f of z, get one algebra, or also z goes to z plus 1 over tau, and f goes to exponent of 2 pi i z. It's kind of Fadeev proposed two commuting uh, quantum torus acting here and conjectures that the same story holds. That if you go uh, home, uh, you get space of distributions, and if you have holonomic demos, you want to consider solutions, so you get holo uh, dual holonomic demos on dual uh, tori, and this will be eventually uh, be exactly this model transformation on logarithm of tau. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Maxim. So, are there questions? So. Yeah. Uh, is there an analog of uh, regular models? No, 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 nothing. Yeah, it's all uh, regular. In one dimensional case, there is, but yeah, it's, it's only, yeah because uh, there are only two singular points. It's very, uh, very stupid story for regular models. Nothing. Yeah. 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 For example, so you consider that n form tensor form a cube. Yeah. And 
if you change Q, at each. I have separate factors, queues, yeah. yeah. Then the category will become much, much smaller, yeah. If, if the yeah. logarith is linear independent, there will be no object, I think. It's, it's interesting. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And similarly, in algebraic situation, we'll have no Lagrangian variety if you take generic symplectic oh. form here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Was yeah. that a yeah. question? Yeah. So in, in the conjecture, do you start from holonomic modules or DB? No, holonomic ones, abelian category. Abelian category. And, but then you have a DB of. Yeah, but consider object in this category with a property. If when you have a restriction, you go to appropriate T structure in, in yeah, oh. yeah, one can formulate it pretty exactly. Yeah. More questions? At the beginning, when you when you went through your paper, different equations and different equations, you had C star on one side and the curve. Yeah. Um, was that C star really the interior of a normal curve or? Uh, Star, uh, I mean, I was wondering if it's like a limit of elliptic curves. Or yeah, no, no, there is something else, there is something called elliptic algebras. I have to say, you can see the CP2 minus smooth cubic. You can remove uh, kind of uh, instead of triangle, which we consider C star square, you can remove smooth cubic. And there is some algebra, but here the whole story is kind of really trivial. You get only one divisor, and you can do nothing with this old series, have only one block, but still you get. Uh, Riemann Hilbert's correspondent is by Eric Ryans, I think. Make some Hilbert, Riemann Hilbert correspondent for this sync with itself with different parameters. Yeah. You have a question? Uh, cluster uh, uh, mutations? Uh, yeah. No, 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 in, no. In principle, all the C star to power to n, it's only approximation to cluster variety. Yeah, it should be some <laughs> bigger story. But, uh, but you don't know what would be the other side? Uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah. That's what I meant, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Instead of this AQ, the yes, 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 take yes. these deformations of the cluster algebra. Yeah, yes. So yeah. you expect some... some okay. yeah, yeah. No, no, in fact, I expect the right-hand side will be Foucault category of the same variety. <laughs> With the symplectic form will be real part of symplectic form and B-field imaginary part of symplectic form. That's a general riemann hilbert correspondence which you have as Jan for arbitrary symplectic manifolds. Okay, if there are no other questions, we, we start in five minutes and okay. we thank Maxim again. Okay.